In this video, we're gonna talk about some new and simple Blender add-ons that you probably did not hear about, in addition to updates to some other popular add-ons as well. We're gonna start with Focal Lock. This is a simple but very useful Blender add-on. You can use it to solve a common and time-consuming problem when using cameras in a 3D scene. The Focal Lock allows you to easily find your optimal focal length without going through the tedious process of trial and error manually every time. You can actually use the add-on to see all the possibilities of focal length and what you can choose from instead of changing the values manually or doing math to get it right. And by the way, the add-on is free so we can grab it and start using it right away. Once you check the focal lock checkbox, you can use the eyedropper to select the object, the character, or whatever you want your camera to be focused on and the camera as a consequence will be locked to that object and will slide to the object and away from it easily. And when you check the checkbox that says track camera to object, you will be able to move your camera around, but it will be always following the object and facing towards it. Next we have the new transportation add-on version 4 that was released recently and with it comes a lot of new high quality detailed assets. There are 13 new assets including a scooter, jet ski, two bikes, a tractor, one leisure vehicle, a car and five different airplanes. Transportation right now contains a big library of high quality and detailed vehicles as we said, and they are fully rigged and optimized for Blender, and all the models are compatible with both Cycles and EV. In addition to that, there is a big library of high dynamic range images and backplates that will help you create realistic renders in just a few minutes. Next we have a Sterium Waveform. It is a cool and new add-on for Blender. It helps to create spectrum waveform effects for your audio and music tracks, simulating oscilloscope-like effects on your tracks. You can actually create an abstract form for your audio clips by generating a widget consisting of curves, drivers, constraints, and modifiers. To add a waveform for your audio tracks, press Shift plus A and select Add Waveform under the Curve menu, and you can choose the frame range, resolution, width, and geometry type. Now easily select the data animation holder empty object and animate its location on the Z channel. This will allow you to transfer an audio wave to something physical moving in the 3D viewport. Next we have UV Pack Master for Blender. This one actually doesn't need an introduction since it is very popular. Also because it is extremely handy when working with UVs. It has one of the best and most efficient UV packing engines on the market right now. UV Pack Master can now take advantage of the computational power of your GPU, using a CUDA accelerated variant of the algorithm significantly enhancing the speed and performance of the add-on. In addition to that, a lot of other features will surely make your UV unwrapping days much easier and a lot more fun. For example, an easier UV creation process to split the UVs into any number of groups. And you can also prioritize specific UV islands and automatically limit the scale of the less important islands. There is also heuristic search where you can iterate on the CPU and GPUs available on the system simultaneously to find the most ideal packing for the UVs. Sometimes you might want to stack similar UVs together and this is now available easily because UV Pack Master gives you the option to lock the stacked UV islands together. And during the packing process, the islands stay glued on top of each other. Another great feature is to pack UV groups to the same UV space so that islands belonging to the same group are neighbors, also the ability to allow exact pixel margin and batting, in addition to non-square textures and much more. UV Pack Master 3 add-on is a really powerful tool and can be great for UV unwrapping your projects, especially if you are a modeler or a 3D game asset artist, and I think it is a must-have and really important. Next we have Human Primitive. It is a small yet useful add-on that helps you add human-based models, in addition to primitive human body parts through the default Add Mesh menu. These shapes can be used to quickly populate scenes with placeholders or it can be used as a reference or a starting point to start creating your characters or models. Some of the body parts the add-on brings with it include a male and female body, a head, ear, mouth, teeth, hands and feet. The models can also be used as dummy characters for testing rigging and testing animations. From the same developer of Human Primitive, we have Radiant Add-on. It helps you manage all the light sources in your scene through one panel among other features. If you haven't noticed, the outliner sometimes gets crowded especially in big scenes, and it is tedious to keep track of all of those light sources. Radiant Add-on tries to solve this problem 
by exposing all your light properties on one side panel. You also have the ability to tag lights and filter them together and hide all of them at once. But there are also other features such as Ray Mesh, which is a fake volumetric light ray that is made possible with a custom shader. And there are three types, Ray Mesh Point, Spot and Area. The Ray Mesh is best used with EV, and to use it with cycles, you might want to increase the transparent light bounce. Also, there are Radiant Tools, which are minor tools that you might find helpful in some situations, such as creating meshes from area lights or creating light tracker empties that will follow the empty location. There is also a shadow catcher, and you can also add a volume cube. Next is Mesh Trails. This is a simple but outstanding add-on that helps you add stylized VFX trails to your animations. You can also easily generate fully customizable mesh-based trails in real time. The add-on is developed by Dylan Go Studios and it is both extremely easy to use for beginners and extremely customizable for advanced users because you can make beautiful effects using this add-on. Some of its features include baking subframes, wind vectors, customizable taper shapes, trails based on camera space, speed calculations based on trails, and much more. The possibilities are basically endless. The add-on has a user-friendly interface, making it easy to add trails no matter what your level is. You can also check out the walkthrough tutorial to understand the process better. The add-on even comes with an asset pack to get you started as a wide range of possibilities might feel frustrating. This should get you started and help you understand what the add-on is capable of. Next we have TrueVDB Firepack. TrueVDB Firepack by TrueVFX, the creators of True Terrain and True Space, is a collection of 50 unique and incredibly realistic fire animations in VDB format, which can be used with Blender, Octane, and Redshift, or any other render engine that supports that format. Using custom shaders, TrueVDB offers a lot of options to enhance the detail of flames and gives you control over the flame's temperature, smoke amount, color, thickness, etc. The pack includes candle flames, torches flames, ground fire, campfire, flamethrowers, and much more. Also, it comes with candles, torches, campfire models, rocks, logs, and also the sparks are included in the pack. These 50 elements come in two versions, a lower quality one for fast renders and another incredibly high quality version for close-up. And as the simulation is already cached and pre-baked, there is almost no performance penalty when using these animations. But on the other side, the developer recommends 40GB of free storage to install the add-on because these VDB files occupy a lot of space. I hope you found these add-ons useful. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.